mean, it's only nice. Like, if somebody say hi, shouldn't you say hi back? Like, so comment. Like, they comment at you. They took the time to watch your video. Say something back. <laughs> This is Tamika, the face behind Hey HR. I am just here to tell you guys um, that I'm just so excited. I'm super duper excited. Didn't think that I would get to 100 in a week. Didn't think that I get to 100 almost period, <laughs> but to get to it within a week, I'm so excited. And I noticed that there were a lot of videos that helped me get there um, and gave me great tips. So I just figured the best I can do is just kind of give some information back. This is not something to say, hey, I'm this great YouTuber. I've been doing this for a long time. It's spanking brand new to me. More the reason I want to reach out to the folks that are super new in YouTubing and help you out. So I wrote some notes. I'm going to refer to them often. These notes are quick, they're brief. I just took notes as I went along, like as I meet different milestones. But the first thing is research. Uh, research, on, and, and all your research really can be done like on YouTube. That's pretty much how I did all my YouTube, all my research. I literally just looked at different YouTube pages. And some of the things that I searched was how to start a channel, um, editing for YouTube, um, SEO information, that's stuff to help you, like that's your search engine optimization. So that's the stuff to help you get found online. So if somebody goes to look for you, they should easily be able to find you. Stuff like that, like um, how to get to 100. That's some videos that I looked at, how to get to 1,000. Obviously that kind of led me into like the gear that I would need, the software that I would need, um, just what stuff I needed to start it. And honestly, to be real frank, almost all of us have everything we need. Like if you have an iPhone, to your phone, you're gonna primarily use iMovie. I mean, obviously I got some things like some ring lights. And my next tip is use social media platforms. Like use them to death. Whatever social media platforms you're on, like put yourself out there. I felt uncomfortable. I've seen tips about it. I talked to friends about it who are like, listen, you're your, your best advocate. I mean, I have some friends that are entrepreneurs, are just starting their own ventures and different things. And I see them posting it all the time. So that kind of gave me, you know, the kind of confidence I guess I needed to kind of push that along. But definitely go out there and just push your stuff. The crazy thing about it is you can download the YouTube Studio app. And in that app, as well as logging in online and just going to your channels and looking at my analytics, you can see where people are searching you and how they find you. So you can see what words they're using to best find you, like it'll show you the top words or what have you. You can also see like what avenue they're finding. Enough for me, majority of my viewers found me through Facebook. A video this normally about 80 to 90% of the viewers find me through that way. The second way that they found me is through my name, um, my YouTube channel name, Hey HR. So that worked out well, but obviously I put that into my, my channel well enough so that people can find me. So you have to be careful about your search engine op optimizations. Look at those. But depend on family and friends to subscribe. Also, um, you know, ask them when they subscribe to please watch the entire video. At least 30 seconds of it. <laughs> I mean, YouTube's algorithm is made up behind how long folks watch your videos. So I know family, they want to get on there. They love you. They going to subscribe, which is amazing. You hoping that your material is good enough that they want to keep watching it going forward. But the best way to get YouTube to notice you is to have people like get to your channel and hang out. Like just watch stuff on your channel or stay on the YouTube platform starting from your channel. The big thing is like get them to share it. Like if your family and your friends see your commitment, like they're going to commit the same way. It's just like anything else. If you see somebody going hard for something, they working all the time, they, you know, always putting all the energy into it, you're probably going to support them if, if you, you know, like me. If I see you going hard for something, I'm going to go hard for it. If I see you kind of being lackadaisical with it and not really paying attention, I'm not really going to pay attention. Another helpful tip is definitely make sure to make catchy thumbnails. So those thumbnails are the first thing they see when they search whatever topic they're searching for. And you look down at all these videos and you just seen like a, a picture or whatever. And before you hover over it and it may show you part of the video, it shows you their thumbnail. And I love um, how you can just go into Canva and Canva helps walk you through it. It's such an easy software. Like you truly can like teach yourself through Canva. Well, true. Um, most people are truly 
finding you from their mobile phones. I think like 96% trends in my analytics as where people are watching my videos, which is from their phone. So when they find your, your video on YouTube, you want to make sure your thumbnail is just like your words on it is big enough, your pictures, whatever you put on it, your decor is not only catchy and short and quick, but also something that they can see. Some of the things that I also did was I just updated my banner on my page. The biggest thing that you want to do is definitely make sure to add in tags. And tags are like keywords within your video. And when you start uploading videos, you'll see where you can put tags. And those are catchy words that people are searching when they search for your video. YouTube will help folks find your page that way. So use catchy words that you're going to use in your title, in your description box. Use the heck out of that description box. Put everything you can in it. Definitely links, hashtags, wherever else you want people to go. Um, put it in your description box because that also helps people find your page as well, find your channel as well. Another thing or another tip that I want to give is to engage with your audience. When they comment on your stuff, like heart it, like it, reply, whatever. I mean, I just feel like right now, of course, my folks are commenting because majority of them are like, my friends, my family, my neighbors, my coworkers, what have you. And so, I mean, it's only nice. Like if somebody say hi, shouldn't you say hi back? Like, so comment, like they comment at you. They took the time to watch your video, say something back. Find a niche. Like I didn't realize that um, so many people struggle with that because me personally, I was more driven to do a YouTube channel because of my niche. I wasn't driven to do a YouTube channel because I want to do a YouTube channel. It's funny because I've seen some people's videos and it's so, like on, um, I think her name is, it's, it's Naya, uh, it's my name Naya or something. It was so funny to hear her say, well, I just started a YouTube channel because I want a free hair. Well, that's not me. Even though that's cute, I didn't realize people have all these different reasons for starting a YouTube channel or what have you. But me personally, I wanted to get the information of human resources out to a larger audience. I feel like human resources almost can like hide information. I wanted to educate my brothers and sisters like my african-american brothers and sisters because i watch folks of other races who know what to do they get the job they get the salary they want and then i watch my african-american brothers and sisters come in they really shortchange themselves take less money and then they bust in their butts and i just feel like as a race we haven't had enough people to give us gems to kind of push us along the way we got generations this generation um, and generations behind us that are breaking trends that previous generations have never done. And so we just didn't have guidance. So that was one of my biggest focus. Well, the biggest tip is to just post constantly. I've seen some YouTubers who said, hey, before you even start a channel, you should automatically start by having three to five videos posted. I didn't. And there were some folks that were like, hey, I'm gonna subscribe. Hey, I'm gonna look. And they didn't. And I think it's because my channel didn't have material on it. Like I started really pushing it out there when I had one video, I said, forget it. I'm gonna just go ahead and post the second one. And so with posting that second one, it got more and more subscribers, more and more views, which is obviously great, but that told me I need more material. So definitely post, post, post. Don't get discouraged with posting, keep posting. But some of my milestones that I did, I went online and did a whole lot of like social media announcements about my release. So I kept saying, hey, subscribe to my page, you know, material coming this particular date, come on, subscribe to my page. And like, I did it on Facebook, I did it on Instagram, I did it on Snapchat. Um, I'm not a big Twitter fan or what have you, but I did it on those three platforms. I told my family and my friends and they subscribed. That got me up to about 30 something, roughly 30 um, subscribers. So from 30 to 70, me personally, I just feel like it was perfect timing. Perfect timing. And if you can find some perfect timing, use it to your advantage. Um, I'm watching Snapchat and I'm watching Instagram stories. And it just blew me away that people were like having all these memes and these posts about how they forgot what day it is. <laughs> they don't know what time it is. Da, da, da. And I thought to myself, yeah, Mika, like if you weren't on medical leave right now, you feel the same way because people normally take off about two weeks from, you know, before Christmas until the new year. And we do kind of get lazy. We do kind of forget what day it is. We do kind of forget what time it is, what day of the week it is, and all of that stuff. And people are literally just hanging around on YouTube. So I thought to myself, why am I waiting until January 3rd 
December 28th is a date that people really ain't got nothing to do. Like, it's after Christmas, they waiting on New Year's, they're on YouTube, they're hanging out with family, they're on vacations, they're watching YouTube. <laughs> and so I just went ahead and did an early release. Early release on one of my videos. And then what I did was I saw my subscribers climbing, but I hadn't gotten a 50 yet. So I put out on all my social media, hey, help me get to 50. Or if you can get me to 50, then I'll post a second video. And just like that, people were just subscribing. Like, I was so appreciative. And it actually pushed me all the way up to 70 before I posted another video. And, and at 70 is when I said, okay, if since that worked and got me to 50, let me toss out another goal. So I was like, hey, and specifically more to my family and friends. I started like doing direct text messages, doing inbox, email, um, inbox messages, or what have you. And I just started saying, hey, help me get to 100 um because i'm trying to get to 100 by this date and i'm gonna throw out another video and so instead of just posting out one video i post out one one day and one the next day and i only did that again because i don't want to bring in all this traffic to my page and i don't really have any material there like that's boring and on top of that like i want youtube to see that i'm serious so i don't want youtube the algorithm to get lost in the fact that i don't have much posted there if they see me constantly posting it's the understanding that they will constantly push your video out. So, um, that helped me get to 100. You made it this far, like to 100, just like how I did. Or if you made it to even starting a page, then make your next goal and just work for it. Like right now, my first goal was 50. Then I went to 100. My next goal is 500. My biggest goal for right now with YouTube is I really want to get to 1,000 by March. And just keep practicing your editing skills as you're posting new videos you're practicing editing and it'll get better my first video i was not proud of it my first video i was not proud of it i am going to use it to help me see my growth i mean that's what you should be doing you're not going to be amazing at it on your first video it is what it is so i'm gonna show y'all my little new scooter and I'm gonna show y'all that this is just simply not easy. Like I just went to the store and had to get some stuff and this is how I got it. Knee scooter land, my foot on the knee scooter. And not only going to the store, like doing my videos, this is how I have to do it. Like hopping around on one foot, I get hot, I get tired. Like I have to take breaks, trying to like change clothes or try to do multiple videos at a time. Like, I mean, sometimes I have the content ready. I don't have the energy or my photos start hurt and I got to elevate it again because it's supposed to stay elevated. Like, it gets difficult, but I don't let the devil get in the way. Don't you let the devil get in the way either. You got this. Like... Come on, let's do it together. Well, y'all, I thank y'all so much for folks who are returning to my channel. Thank you. I appreciate you showing me some love and coming back and keep on looking, keep on watching, keep on liking, keep on commenting. And for those of you who may be brand new to my channel, I ask you to first subscribe. Have you liked already? Because this video has been going for a while. Even if you don't subscribe, did you at least like? Like, go ahead. I'll give you a minute. I'll give you a minute. Like the video. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I want you guys to at least like it and check out the other videos on my channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming by. And I hope to see you guys again on my future videos. Thank you.